Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Trigger PH, and as the title of the video says, do King's Fall Raid now. We have about five days left, I think four days and like 11 hours and 22 minutes currently from the time that I see right now. Um, yeah, we have that long until Rise of Iron drops, and well, Bungie was nice enough to put all the challenges for the King's Fall Raid open right now. Usually it's one a week, but now we have all three open. Golgoroth Challenge, Orcs Challenge, War Priest Challenge. And that just means you're going to get a ton of loot, and all these, all the loot that you get from like killing the bosses and stuff is going to be legendary. So what you can do with these legendary loots is delete them if you want for legendary marks. Now, I would not suggest uh, infusing them into the gear you have now, because one, if you're doing the King's Fall Raid on normal or on hard, I mean, you probably are going to be a relatively high light level, and unless you really want to be level 335 for when Rise of Iron drops, I don't think it's super necessary, because once Rise of Iron drops, the light level changes from 335 to 385, and so you're going to be getting higher loot than 335 pretty much really fast is just my assumption so I don't think it's a super wise decision unless you're like a really low light level then uh, I mean I don't see you doing the King's Fall Raid on a super low light level but uh, yeah just uh, keep that in mind that uh, you're gonna be getting higher light level pieces pretty quick when Rise of Iron drops so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the loot that I got on my Titan currently on my Hunter so let's head to the tower on my Titan Alright, well, we are currently flying to the tower right now, and uh, I just want to let you guys know that I remade my Titan to get the Kvostov so I could start the exotic Kvostov quest immediately when Rise of Iron starts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that, the reason I'm saying that is because I probably got a little bit more loot than you would if you've beaten the raid before, because uh, the first time you do it, you get a little extra loot like these... Uh, Artifacts. I got a total of six artifacts from doing this raid, uh, doing challenge mode and all that. So I wouldn't expect to get six artifacts from one raid unless you're doing it for the first time as well. But um, yeah, so I deleted a few things. I deleted a ghost, I believe. I deleted a cloak or a titan mark, I mean. And then I deleted some boots. I infused them into these uh, boots that I have currently. And uh, other than that, I pretty much didn't delete everything else. And so I can go over all of the things that I got. But I'm just going to let you guys know that from doing it the first time on my Titan, I got a total of 21 items from the raid with all three uh, challenges available right now. So yeah, I got these four weapons right here. I got two helms, no gauntlets, no chests. I got two boots. I got three marks, I got six artifacts, two ghost shells, and then another weapon right here, and then that Midas Reckoning right here. So yeah, I got 21 items, but why you guys need to do this, and you need to do it on all three characters, is because when Rise of Iron drops, you're going to want to spend your legendary marks on like a new weapon, possibly, from a vendor. Now, if you, with 200 legendary marks, you can buy like one weapon from a vendor, possibly like, possibly two legendary engrams let's see how much do they cost okay oh my goodness so many things oh uh, yeah see you could probably buy three class item things 60 120 180 if you really wanted to you can buy some chests so you could do like a legendary weapon engram and then a legendary chest engram from him but if you do it on all three of your characters say you get say you get 15 items uh for each character from the raid Delete those, that's going to be 45 legendary marks. Do it on all three characters. You have 135 more legendary marks to spend to buy a weapon or to buy a legendary special weapon engram if you want it. It's really your call, but I think this is a really good way to stock up on some legendary marks. Now, don't delete them until Rise of Iron drops until you spend that money because you guys know that the max is 200, so if you're del deleting them before... Um, if you're already 200, then it's just a waste of the item, even though you might get some modes of light or something along with it, but you really want those legendary marks. And so, yes, uh, get your legendary marks maxed, and there's a couple other ways that you guys can get legendary marks if you guys did this before, because uh, Rise of Iron and uh, 
trials. Uh, if, if you guys haven't saved the bounties that give you legendary marks, that was a good idea. Sorry, uh, you can't do that anymore because uh, Rise of Iron and Trials will not be returning within the next five days. But yeah, that's why I'm letting you guys know to do the raids on all of your characters that you have. Get yourself some legendary marks so you can get a little bit more weapons or and uh, armor from vendors around the tower. Possibly, I don't know if anybody at the reefs has sells anything. But mainly the tower and possibly in the Plague Lands social area, the Felwinter's Pink Peak. So, yes. Do the raid on all three of you guys, get those items, delete them for legendary marks. Possibly if, if you're low level, there's a lot of items so you could get your light level higher if you wanted. Then you can delete the gear that you have currently. But yeah, I just think it's a good idea. I wanted to share this with you guys just in case you guys didn't know that the raid was uh, giving all three challenge modes. So, find a team, have fun with it. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on Rise of Iron Drops, so if you're new to the channel... Please subscribe if you want to see some more content. I should post some more videos before Rise of Iron drops as well, so look forward to that. And I'll catch you guys all later on my next video. Peace out, everybody.